I recently discovered that people actually sell laser cutting designs on Etsy, which really surprised me. Creating designs for laser cutting is simpler than you might think, and I'm here to show you how. And this and some upcoming videos, I'll walk you through my laser cutting design process. Today, we're exploring a method for creating designs with cylindrical symmetry. By the end, you'll have learned how to design things like this lamp or this vase on your own. So let's get started. First off, let's understand what cylindrical symmetry is all about. In a nutshell, it's a term we use in physics to describe anything that looks the same when rotated around the major axis. So, if for example we draw a disc and rotate it around some axis, we will end up with a torus, or a donut. The tool I prefer for these designs is a CAD software named OnShape. It's user friendly, it's free, and you can use it on your browser so it runs even on budget laptops. After a quick hour of watching YouTube tutorials, I was creating my own 3D printing and laser cutting files. So from here, I'll assume you have some basic CAD knowledge, but if you don't, stick around and you might find it worth learning. So let's get started designing the vase. Our goal is to make a small part of the vase and then rotate it around the axis of symmetry. After creating the sketch on the front plane, I mark the vase's radius with a horizontal line and its height with a vertical line, which will also serve as its axis of symmetry. Designing the vase's shape is a breeze. With just a few lines and a spline, we get the basic structure. You can tweak the shape and angle to your liking. Next, I select the sketch we've drawn and use the extrude function to give it a thickness of 2.5mm, which matches my wood thickness. We can also change its appearance to make it look a little bit more like wood. Now here is where the magic happens. Select the part we just designed and create a circular pattern. Choose the axis of symmetry we defined earlier. This will duplicate our initial design around the axis. Play around with the number of duplicates until you're pleased. I found boarding copies to look just right. The cool thing is, if you want to adjust your design, just go back to the original sketch, tweak it, and everything will update automatically. Okay, so we have 14 individual parts. We still need to hold them together somehow. Luckily, there is an easy trick for that too. We'll create rings to act as a skeleton for the outer faces to attach to. I will hide all the parts except the first one just for clarity. Create a new sketch and draw three rectangles ensuring their thickness is equal. The bottom one will form the floor of our vase, so make sure one of its edges align with the axis of symmetry. Set the distance between the edge of the upper two rectangles from the axis of rotation to define the ring's inner diameter. Revolve these rectangles around the axis of symmetry to create our skeleton. Make a copy of the two rings and the bottom disc we just made. That's important for the next part. Select the boolean function and pick subtract. For the tools, pick the 14 outer faces and for the targets, pick the two rings and the disc and make sure keep tools as ticked so the outer faces don't disappear. Now the rings will have grooves in them, but that's not enough. We also need grooves in the outer faces. Using the boolean function again, select the copied parts, the ones without the grooves in them, as tools and the outer faces as targets. This time we don't need to keep tools. That's it. Our design is finished. We've got a skeleton made of two rings and a bottom disc, along with 14 faces, all with grooves for jointing. And it took us literally just a few moments. To prepare for cutting, we can export the designs as DXF files. Right-click any surface you want to export and press Save as DXF. With our DXF files ready, it's time to fire up Lightburn, duplicate our components and let the laser do its job. As always, if you don't want to design your own, you can find all the files in the description. Assembly is straightforward, which makes it pretty fun and you can even give this away disassembled. Just attach the outer faces one by one and add a little glue if necessary. This time, I found the joints a bit too tight, probably because this is the first time I've been using this type of wood. This is what the assembled vase looks like. I really like this, so I made several designs of different sizes and shapes. I already gave a few of these away, and I'm sure you could sell these if you wanted to. Just put some dried flowers in there, and you're good to go. The cylindrical symmetry method is versatile. With similar steps, I've also made a table lamp. I designed it in OnShape using the circular pattern function, cut the parts with my X tool D1 dyed laser, and assembled it just like the vase. 
You can find files and instructions for this lamp in the description as well. I'll be sharing more videos about designing for laser cutting, so if you have any requests or ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.